Boston Dynamics Atlas and Unitree G1, who's leading the charge in humanoid tech for 2025. In this corner, Boston Dynamics Electric Atlas, stronger, sharper, and made for the real world. And in the other, the Unitree G1, a $16,000 upstart doing the impossible. We're comparing their official 2025 upgrades across five essential categories. Atlas is built to transform industry, G1 is built to turn heads. Recently, Unitree Robotics made headlines with its humanoid robot, G1, successfully performing the world's first standing side flip powered entirely by electric actuators. On March 19, the company unveiled a video showcasing this remarkable achievement. A groundbreaking collaboration between Boston Dynamics and Canon recently showcased the next-generation Atlas robot in an innovative video production role. In this demonstration, Atlas served as a camera operator, highlighting the transformative potential of robotics in dynamic filmmaking. Unitree's G1 is setting milestones, from the world's first robotic kip-up to a sanctioned robot boxing demo. So how do they really stack up? Start with price. These machines have radically different destinies. Boston Dynamics Atlas is the undisputed champion of industrial robotics. No official price yet, but insiders peg it around $140,000, plus a 1 million renminbi tag reflecting its elite U.S. engineering. Expensive doesn't even begin to cover it. This is corporate-only territory, born in U.S. defense labs and built with military-grade precision. What that buys you? Decades of DARPA-backed R&D and Hyundai's automotive-scale production muscle. Now meet Unitree's G1. China's challenger for mass-market humanoid tech. At $16,000, it's cheaper than many premium e-bikes. But what it delivers in motion is remarkable. While Atlas is locked behind enterprise sales channels, the G1 is flooding classrooms and research centers, embodying China's scale-first strategy, advanced tech through aggressive pricing. Their origins say it all. One developed in Boston Dynamics Secret of Labs, the other through Unitree's open R&D pipeline, the same team that popularized quadrupeds. That price difference isn't arbitrary, it's engineered. Atlas just shifted from hydraulics to aerospace-grade electric actuators, with every component overbuilt for longevity. Meanwhile, the G1 uses mass-market servos and compensates with software intelligence. Two paths, same goal. One revolution, two ends of the spectrum. Stand them side by side and the differences become stark. Atlas stands 5 feet 9 inches, weighs 86 kilograms, a hulking mass of titanium and AI. Its design screams heavy duty, from reinforced shoulders to legs that shrug off concrete falls. It's not just humanoid, it's superhuman, with joints that rotate 360 degrees, beyond any human range. Then there's G1, only 4 feet 4 inches, 35 kilograms, built like a gymnast. That 2.5x weight gap? Game-changing. Atlas hauls 20 kilograms with ease. G1 uses its light frame for aerial stunts no person could attempt. Each design reflects intent. Atlas is steel-armored, built to endure impacts. G1's carbon fiber limbs let it flip midair, something Atlas would never risk. Their footprints prove it too. Atlas needs space, a machine built for industry, not desktops. G1 folds down small, showing Unitree's focus on everyday deployment. 
where Atlas wins with brute force, G1 excels with agility. Size isn't everything. Specs alone don't tell the full story. Their 2025 mobility upgrades show where each truly shines. Atlas is now fully electric, a total reinvention, not just a power swap. It moves with uncanny realism, boasting 30% energy efficiency gains during complex maneuvers. Watch it walk, fluid, lifelike. It runs, crawls, cartwheels, even breakdances. Its movement is intuitive, adaptive, balanced on narrow beams. G1, meanwhile, has broken barriers of its own. In March, it executed the first robotic kip-up, springing from its back to a standing pose. A month later, it nailed side flips with aerial control unheard of in this price class. And with April's boxing preview, G1's movement enters a new realm, footwork drills, evasions, and fast resets from hits. All that, plus kung fu kicks and dance moves. In a video published by the UCSD Advanced Robotics and Controls Lab on March 18, 2025, researchers showcased an exploratory study on the use of humanoid robots for direct patient care via teleoperation. The research introduces a technique called video mimic, which allows robots to learn complex movements, like climbing stairs or sitting in chairs, by watching real-world videos. These are not preloaded routines. The G1 responds in real time, calculating balance on the fly. Their philosophies diverge here too. Atlas focuses on dynamic stability, adapting to external force while moving intentionally. G1 leans into high-risk, explosive agility, enabled by its lightweight frame and ultra-fast servos. Atlas moves like an athlete. G1 like a parkour prodigy. Under the hood, their AI systems tell the rest of the story. Atlas runs on Predictive Balance 2.0, Boston Dynamics' proprietary algorithm tuned for industrial performance. On custom NVIDIA hardware, it integrates depth sensors and IMUs to refine balance mid-movement. Its SDK is built for precision, allowing deep integration with factory systems. G1 takes a different path. Its bend and voice interface might lack Atlas's refinement, but it's a leap toward intuitive human-robot interaction. With an upgradable NVIDIA Orin chip, G1 invites experimentation, ideal for research and prototyping. Its software environment favors fast iteration over rock-solid dependability, letting users test new behavior models quickly. Their learning methods also contrast. Atlas is built on millions of simulations, yielding consistency but less flexibility. Trained entirely in simulation using NVIDIA's Isaac Lab, Dexter RGB enables robots to manipulate novel objects in dynamic environments with unprecedented precision. A striking demo involved a collaboration between Boston Dynamics and NVIDIA, where the Dexter RGB system was deployed in the Atlas MTS robot. G1 incorporates adaptive learning, adjusting its behavior through experience, a critical asset for real-time tasks like boxing, where predictability is a liability. Their software complements their bodies, Atlas emphasizes balance and force, G1, speed and reaction. Both approaches aim for the same goal, humanoid robots that thrive in human environments. But tech alone isn't enough, you also need power to fuel it. And here too, philosophies split. Atlas offers only 90 minutes of runtime, but for a reason. Quick swap industrial batteries mean it never needs to stop, just switch and go. The packs are rugged, built to withstand extreme cycles. And Atlas doesn't baby its batteries, it's survived thousand plus drop tests from high altitudes. G1, in contrast, gets two hours per charge, longer runs for academic and demo settings, where quick swaps are less critical. Its lithium polymer cells are less heavy duty, 
but smart power management helps it pull off high energy tricks without draining fast. It's rated IP54, so it can handle dust and some moisture, but it's not the construction warrior that Atlas is. Again, context matters. Atlas endures daily factory abuse. G1 weathers the chaos of classrooms, events, and media demos. And in both cases, their durability reflects intent. Different battlegrounds, different armor. So where does that leave us? Atlas is still the go-to for serious industrial deployment, where strength, precision, and uptime are paramount. Its price and build quality reflect that. G1, on the other hand, is a gateway robot, lowering the cost of entry while still offering astonishing ability. They're not rivals, they're reflections of two visions. Atlas shows what's possible when cost is no limit. G1 proves how fast bleeding-edge tech can become accessible. One is a technological titan. The other is a disruption engine. But the real winner? Robotics itself, evolving across every frontier. So, which excites you more? The industrial powerhouse or the nimble trailblazer? Still curious? Subscribe now for expert breakdowns and live analysis.